Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add some light effects to an image using GIMP 2.10 and the gimmick plugin. So let's go ahead and open up our web browser. We're going to download an image quickly so let's just open up the web browser and we're going to download this image from Unsplash. You can download any, any sort of image you like. I'm going to use this one of this guy running. So we'll open up this folder on my desktop and just drag and drop this image into here. And feel free to download any other image. You can experiment, but maybe try and download this one first. Go through the tutorial and then you can find some other images to apply this effect. So let's close this browser and we'll open up GIMP. So we've got GIMP software open here and we want to drag and drop this picture into GIMP and just click on convert. So we've got the image in here. We're going to right click on the layers here, right click, and we're just going to duplicate it. So let's uh, duplicate, duplicate layer. Now we've got two copies of the layer. We'll click on this top one and we'll go to the filters and we'll go to the gimmick plugin here. If you've not installed this plugin already, I'll put a link in the YouTube description showing you how to install this. I'm doing a few different tutorials using this particular plugin. So just check my YouTube channel. You can find quite a few different tutorials on this. So we'll click on the gimmick plugin and it will load up. And the first thing we want to do is go to the, let's see, we want to go to detail and under detail, we want to go to Let's find it, freaky detail here, freaky detail. And we want to set the iterations to two and the amplitude to three. And then we'll click apply. And then we'll click OK. So now we can see the image is looking a bit different. This is the original and this is the edited version. So let's click back on that top layer again. And we'll go back to the plugin, filters, the gimmick plugin as well. And we'll be back to where we was before. Let's close down this, ex this, ex uh, this uh, option here, the detail. And we want to go to now, let's see, we want to go to um, artistic. And inside here, we want to click on this option here, which is Rodelius. And inside here, we want to set the amplitude to around 7.5. We'll leave the thickness at 10. We'll set the sharpness at 300, leave that alone. The orientation I'm going to set to 12. And then the offset we'll leave at 30. And we'll ramp up the smoothness all the way to the top. Once we set up all the settings, I quite like the way it's looking, but you can adjust the settings and play around with them. These ones seem to work pretty well, but you can experiment and then you get this nice little light effect. Like the guy's about to start off running and he's got this like almost looks like lightning or something going through the image. It looks pretty cool. It looks quite abstract as well. So I think it'll make like a nice post that if you've got like some running post or something you want to create or any image you can do this, apply this effect to, right? So we must click the apply button. When we click the apply button, the software will start to apply that effect to the image and that can take a little bit of time. So we just wait for that to finish. Okay, so the plugin's finished applying the effect. We're going to click on the OK button and now we can see inside of GIMP what that looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. And we can um, then add some text or we can add some sort of other, you know, we can do, add more plugin features to it as well. We can add some more filters. I think it looks pretty cool like this and we can apply that to any image now, this particular effect. It's got kind of like this lighting going through the image. I think it looks pretty cool. And it'll make like a nice sort of a design for a poster or something like this. I think it would look pretty cool for a running poster or something like that. But again, you can apply this effect to any image that you want. So we can see the original image underneath and we can see the new one on top. We can see them overlaid. This is why we duplicated it so we can keep a hold of both of the layers. So let's untick this. Um, let's tick this top layer here. Let's go to file and we'll export it as and we'll go to, we're in the right folder at the moment. So all we need to do is select JPEG here. It's already a JPEG file. So let's call this uh, edit and let's export it as a JPEG. And then we can close down GIMP. We don't need to save this work. Just discard the changes. And then we can see the new image and we can see the old version here side by side, what it looks like. So I don't know what you think about that effect. I think it's very easy to implement makes things look a bit more 
dynamic, a bit more different. I uh, quite like um, the effect that it's applied. So let's close this all down. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.